thanks for tuning in to Animal Adventures. My name is Kylin, and this is my friend Chewy. Chewy is a Flemish giant, which is one of the largest breeds of rabbit in the world. He weighs about 11 pounds, and he's five years old. I bring Chewy to classroom presentations with me throughout the county, and when students meet him, they often tell me they want a rabbit of their own. Let's talk a little bit about what you need to keep in mind before adopting a rabbit. The first thing to think about before adopting a rabbit is what kind of enclosure or cage you're going to provide to them. Try and get as big of a cage as possible, at least four times the length of their body while they're lying down. And also never provide a cage that has a wire bottom. That can cause their in injuries to their feet and isn't a very comfortable surface for them to live on. We definitely don't recommend keeping your rabbit outdoors, and that's because as prey animals, there's lots of things that can cause them harm or fear, like cats and dogs and birds of prey and raccoons and foxes. And most importantly, they need to be indoors with your family so they can become tame and really socialized. Next, before you bring a rabbit home, keep in mind that they love to chew. So I recommend bunny proofing your house. That means blocking off anything that they could damage by chewing on and anything that can harm them if they ingest it. Let's talk about how to keep your rabbit happy and healthy. Every day, Chewy comes outside for about one hour of exercise and sunshine. I keep him in the shade so he doesn't get too warm. He is prone to overheating, and I always stay with him when he's outside. I don't want an, a predator to come injure him or scare him, and I don't want him to escape and get lost. I also keep in mind that being outside increases the likelihood that he could get fleas, which would pose as a health issue for your pet. Another part of keeping your rabbit happy and healthy is handling them. A lot of rabbits are really afraid of being picked up, and this is a misconception for students because they think that rabbits are really cuddly pets. I've actually never even picked Chewy up in the two years that I've owned him because it just makes him too afraid. He's such a big rabbit. I don't want him to slip out of my arms. Um, so if I do need to bring him somewhere, I just offer his carrier to him. He knows to hop right inside, and that's how I carry him around. think about in regards to health care is their grooming and rabbits shed a lot. I do brush him as frequently as I can. If he doesn't like the feeling of the brush like the rubber bristles or the metal bristles I do just use a wet towel in my hand and I pet him and I try and get as much hair off and then I wipe it on the towel. He also needs nail trims which is a hard job because he doesn't like to get handled and he doesn't like his feet being touched so we always use two people to trim his nails. We trim his nails about every four weeks or so. Um, if you're uncomfortable trimming your rabbit's nails, you are able to bring them to your veterinarian to do that for you. There's four main components to a rabbit's diet. The first is hay, and this one is the most important one. Your rabbit needs to eat as much hay as the size of their body every single day. I use a high quality grass hay. I recommend Timothy hay. You never want to use alfalfa. That's really, really nutrient dense, and that should only be used for baby rabbits. So I put Chewy's hay in his litter box. He usually goes to the bathroom in one corner of the litter box and usually has a snack while he is going to the bathroom. Some people think that's kind of gross, but that's all part of the rabbit charm. The next part of the diet is greens. This is his salad that he gets every single day. Now some greens are okay to feed and some greens are a little bit too rich for them. So I don't recommend feeding kale or spinach um, that might upset their stomach. This is a little bit of chard from my garden and one of his favorites which is cilantro and another great one to feed is dandelion greens. I've never met a rabbit that doesn't love dandelion greens. They're really really good for them. A lot of people think that rabbits need to eat carrots all the time. They love carrots and they definitely do. But carrots are really, really high in sugar for a rabbit. That's like people eating chocolate cake every single day. So it's a little bit too much sugar for a rabbit to be eating very often. This is way too much carrot to give to your rabbit. Instead, you want to give them just a little piece and you want it to be a treat. So not every day, just every once in a while about this much. The last part of the diet I want to talk about is his pellets. And this is important that we measure his pellets for him every single day. He has a pretty good body weight, but we don't want him to get too plump by eating too many pellets. 
So a good rule of thumb when you, when you measure your pellets is a fourth of a cup per five pounds of body weight. Chewy weighs just over 11 pounds, that means he gets just a little bit more than half a cup of pellets per day. I give him a fourth of a cup in the morning and a fourth of a cup in the afternoon. Always offer your rabbit fresh water available all the time to him. I actually give Chewy two water bottles that he can drink from all day and all nights just to make sure he never runs out. The diet of a rabbit is a main component in keeping your rabbit healthy, so make sure to provide lots of hay, always give them their greens, measured pellets, and a little bit of a treat every once in a while. Thanks for tuning in to this week's animal adventure. Chewy and I had a lot of fun making this video for you. Keep in mind that rabbits take a lot of time and money and energy, but they make great pets. If you're interested in owning a rabbit, consider coming into our shelter and adopting one from us. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next week.